August is a great time of year to pack our bags and head out of town. And I've had so many requests lately asking for some inspiration on vacation travel. So today, you're gonna pack with me for vacation. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Hi ladies, it's Beth. Thanks so much for stopping by today. And a very warm welcome if this is your first time visiting. You may be wondering what the channel is all about. And I like to say it's aging with grace, strength, and beauty. Because we need all three tools in our toolbox to be the best versions of ourselves at any age, but especially as we age. And don't forget to hit the subscription box before you go so you don't miss any videos coming your way. But let's talk about that capsule vacation wardrobe. Today, I'm so excited to introduce a new member to the Saka family. So everyone, this is Kelly. Hello. She is our 40s editor. She's a contributing editor over on the blog. And now she is going to be joining us over here on YouTube. So you will be seeing Kelly once a month for sure, maybe more for some fun, you know, special occasions too. But we have such a fun post today because it's August and people are still headed on vacation. We're talking about those warm weather destination vacations. And Kelly has come up with a wonderful travel capsule wardrobe for us because where are you headed for two weeks? Tybee Island. That's right. Tybee Island. And for those of you that don't know, Tybee is on the Atlantic Ocean. It is right next to Savannah, Georgia. So if you ever get tired of the beach, which it's hard to get tired of the it beach, is. you can head into Savannah, which is honestly one of my favorite cities in the entire world. So much history there, amazing restaurants, and just a lot of things to do. But today, Kelly is joining us. And as I said, we're going to go over a travel capsule wardrobe for the beach. So I'm going to hand it off to you. So how did you set up your capsule wardrobe, Kelly? Oh, gosh, Beth. Well, thanks first for having me here. It's a real pleasure to be a part of uh, Style at a Certain Age YouTube channel. And so for a capsule wardrobe, for the beach especially, I like to think first about location. You might be thinking a beach is a beach is a beach, but not really, because if you're going on a beach vacation in, say, Miami, the fashion scene there is very different than what you're going to find on Tybee Island, which is very much a no shirt, no shoes, no service kind of place. It's very casual. So my Ideas for a capsule wardrobe for Tybee Island are going to be very different than what you might do if you're going someplace a little bit more fancy. Mm -hmm. So I start with location and then I go on to activities. That's a good tip. I really like that because location, it really is. It's very, very key. Yes, it makes a big difference mm -hmm. too. Not all beaches are built the same, even though they all have sand and they all have water. That's right. Some are very a little different. bit rockier, some are mm -hmm. a little bit colder, some are a little bit hotter. So, so that's a really True. good point. So location and then location. what do you do? So then I think about activities. And as Beth mentioned, Tybee is um, basically, they call it Savannah's Beach mm -hmm. because it's right on the edge of Savannah. And so there's a whole city there that you can explore. There's lots of sightseeing to do. There's a lot of walking that you'll do. And when you go in August, mm -hmm. you're going to have to contend with walking in the heat. Mm -hmm. So think about that. Think about the activities, whether it's biking, hiking, not just going to the beach, but also maybe there's pool time. Mm -hmm. Basically, you want to think about what kind of things and adventures you want to have when you go on your beach vacation. Mm -hmm. We are really beach people in that we don't plan a lot of activities when we go. So we'll do some sightseeing in Savannah. Uh, that includes a little bit of walking around, a little bit of shopping, probably. Um, but for the most part, we're going to be pretty beach bound and sticking on the island. Okay. So that means a lot of very casual wear. So after I've considered my location, what activities I might do there, then I start to plan my wardrobe. Okay. So, and you're a very organized person. I love that about you. So, and you also love, I, I think I failed to mention, Kelly is also a petite size. Yes. So, so many readers write in wanting some petite inspiration, some petite outfits. And so in the future, we're going to have so much fun because I'm a regular, I'm, you know, close to five, eight, size eight, size medium. And Kelly, what sizes are you? So I'm just at five feet tall and I usually go for the petite zeros, petite extra smalls. In regular sizing, I 
I can get away with extra small. Sometimes small, it really just depends on the brand and what the item is. Right. So my mom would say you're as big as a minute, <laughs> but it's really going to be nice in the future because we really can show you how it looks on a petite and how it looks on a regular. But back to our regularly scheduled program. Yeah. So you have put together this capsule wardrobe. And as I said, Kelly is just so organized. I love that. So how do you put together then when after the location, after your activities, then you're putting everything together. So what, yes. how do you do that? Yeah. So then I like to think about color palette really, because when you're doing a capsule wardrobe, the whole idea is that you're going to have pieces that you can mix and match. And that's, that's really the crux of it. So once I've thought all of the things, location activities, color, what do I have a lot of? What can I get away with mixing and matching? So for this particular vacation this summer, I tend to have a lot of navy blue, light blue, dark blue, a lot of blues, whites for sure. And then mustard yellow is kind of a hot color this year for me. So mm -hmm. that's the color palette that I'm working with. I might throw in some gray because gray goes great with white, navy, and yellow. Mm -hmm. So once I've got that color palette kind of figured out, then I start to go through my clothing and I start to figure out what pieces can work together. Okay. And like I said, for this very, very casual vacation, it's a lot of shorts, skirts, things like that. So I start with the bottoms. Okay. Because you can really mix and match tops a lot more easily if you've got your bottoms very well set. Right. So do you like natural fabrics when you travel? To I the do. Beach? Yeah. Linen. Right. Linen. Um, if I if I lived in a tropical environment, my entire wardrobe would just all be linen because it really is the most forgiving fabric that you can take with you on vacation. The wrinkles are okay. Yeah, they really are. It's all right. It's, it's light and charming, breathable. It's right? charming. charming. And it actually feels like vacation. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. It really does. And I think I think um cotton poplin same. Um if you're if you're looking at fabrics that are great for summer, if it's something that feels good to sleep in, like your bedding is cotton mm -hmm. or linen, it's gonna feel great to wear in the heat. It really so, does. That's a really, really good point. And I have a great video where I talk about one of the style tips to beat the heat is natural fibers. Yeah. So a natural fabric. So that's really great point that, you know, putting your bottoms together, especially so linen shorts, linen, linen shorts. pants, mm -hmm. cotton, mm -hmm. and what else do, do we? So, so I'm thinking, um, you know, linen pants are really great for if the, if it does get cool in the evening times, or if you just don't want the sun on your legs, linen pants are great. Cause it's like wearing shorts or a skirt or a dress. Mm -hmm. But you've got that coverage, so it's really nice. Right. Um, and then you can mix and match those then. So we get the bottoms together. Yes. And also, I wanted to point out, so Kelly has put together these amazing boards. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go over to the blog. We'll have everything linked down below. So if you want some inspiration, you can actually pin them or you can take screenshots of them. But Kelly has put basically some outputs together with the items that we're talking about. But you've also broken it down into bottoms you know inspiration for yes. bottoms and then so the next uh topic would be what, what goes with the bottoms tops <laughs> <laughs> right hello yeah 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 so for um i'm going on a vacation for two weeks so that's a that's a considerable amount of time luckily i have a washing machine where i'll be so i can i can cycle through things but even if i didn't and that factors into i'm sure your selections too so really i think does. it makes it a little bit easier to pack a travel capsule wardrobe when you do have laundry facilities. So, it does. Yeah. It does make a big difference. So laundry, yes, it does make a really big difference, but I feel like, uh, especially for a beach capsule, like a very casual capsule wardrobe, it's really easy to get away with um, not packing that many things in terms of bottoms and tops, because if you're going to spend one day, two days, maybe three days at the beach, those you're wearing a, a swimsuit, so right. you don't really have to necessarily deal with wearing an outfit for an entire day. So it does make a difference in how you pack and what you pack and what you can put together and how often you're going to wear it. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. So when it comes to tops, so what do you like to bring? Um, is it t-shirts? Do you bring mm -hmm. shirts? Do you bring what? what I do. What do I like? I really like to have options because as I mentioned earlier, I'm not much of a planner when it comes to vacations. I like to just see where the day takes me. Um, I might have a rough outline here or there, but I like to have options. So what I like to do is I like to bring maybe three t-shirts in different colors. So for this capsule, I've got a mustard colored shirt, a navy shirt, and a white shirt. 
Um, and then I like to have a couple of button up options. You know, if I want to go shopping or something like that and I want something a little bit more put together, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a lunch date or, you know, something like this, mm -hmm. a button up is a really nice thing to have. So I'll bring a couple of those and then tank tops. I'll bring maybe two to three tank tops. Okay. All in all, um, for a two week vacation, I might bring five bottoms and maybe seven tops. And seven tops. That's a, that's a nice ratio. So, and I like that you're bringing the button up because the button up can also double as the third layer, which is, we sure. never know. It may be very hot outside, but we never know what the inside temps are going to be. So that's also nice to have. It to is. bring that along. It's not a jacket, but yet it'll give you a little bit extra warmth. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It is nice. And it just adds also that little extra bit of put togetherness. Like if I was going to go walk around Savannah, maybe I'd have a tank top, maybe a button up over it unbuttoned with some shorts or a skirt or something like that. Mm -hmm. So versatility and options. Very good. That's right. It is. So we've talked about the bottoms and we've talked about the tops. And also, I don't want to have you worry because we'll have a little mini fashion show at the very end. We're going to model a couple of outfits, but with Kelly has has talked about here, but we're covering the basics. So bottoms, tops, and then what else do you like to pack? I like to bring um, one or two uh, very casual dresses. So a tank dress um, or a t-shirt dress, something like that, that I can actually double as a swimsuit cover up, mm -hmm. or I can wear it out for a casual dinner. Or just walking around. Mm -hmm. And I love that because I think dresses are so easy to pack mm -hmm. and they're one and done. You don't yeah. have to worry about the accessorizing and they really are very stylish. And sometimes when the weather is really hot, they just are so comfortable to wear. It's, you know, they don't have the waistband typically. And so I, I love to reach for a dress on a hot summer day. Yeah, definitely. And it's nice too, if you're, if you're not staying at a hotel and you're staying at a house or, you know, an Airbnb or something like that, and you just want a house dress to wear around, you're not planning on doing much, you're hanging out at the house, a dress is a really nice thing to have in that situation. Exactly. It is. Okay. So we've covered the basics there. Mm -hmm. So what else do we like to well there's footwear there's footwear and there's right? accessories yeah mm -hmm. so for a beach vacation um footwear wise i like to keep it really simple and slides are a really good way to do that because if you have uh, maybe a black or a brown pair they're going to go with anything that you pack for the most part and slides are really easy to pack so actually you can get away with packing you know maybe two three four pairs if you want because they're so flat they just pack really really easily so yes i'll bring two to three pairs of shoes. I really do like my Birkenstocks when I go on a beach vacation because they're great to walk around in, no blisters. Mm -hmm. um, and then just regular slides, flip-flops for the beach. But mm -hmm. yeah, I do really like to keep it simple. Mm -hmm. So, And I think you can get away with that nowadays very easily. You really, really can. And what I really like about your capsule wardrobe, and that's the beauty of a capsule wardrobe, it's very consolidated, but you're mixing and matching everything. Mm -hmm. So the shoes you can wear with a dress, but you can also take those, you know, shoes to the beach. The dress can double as a cover-up. So I really like your thoughtful travel capsule wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we've covered tops, bottoms, dresses, shoes, yes, shoes. and and then um, for bags. So usually, I um, my day-to-day -day bag that I use at home is not the bag that I typically take with me, and to avoid having too many bags in my bags as right. I go on vacation. <laughs> I actually just switch out my, my regular day-to-day -day purse for a woven tote. And that's actually really great because it's big enough to hold all my essentials, plus maybe a, a shirt with sleeves to wear in case I get chilly in a restaurant mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then um, also if I happen to go shopping or something and pick up a few you know, postcards or things along the way, it's a tote is a great thing to have for that. Mm -hmm. And then if it's a woven tote, it's typically a neutral color. Um, if it's a natural tone of some sort, maybe brown, maybe white, beige, things like that, that's going to go with everything that you pack. So really you can get away with a one and done bag. Very, very good information. And I really like, I mean, I'm picking up that it's mostly neutrals that yes. you're focused on with one pop of color, that yeah. mustard the color, mustard but it goes yeah. in with the navies and the whites and the yeah. grays that you have. So, and I, and I like to share that too. When I go on vacation, when you pick a color palette, I typically travel with black and white. It's just, mm -hmm. it just makes so my life so much easier. Yeah. So, so definitely think about neutrals. Definitely think about natural fabrics. Yeah. Definitely think about mixing and matching. Well, and, and the great thing about the neutral color palette too is that beach vacations are really fun for prints and 
colorful attire, yes. right? So if you've got a, a neutral base where your pants, shorts, your bottoms are all very neutral, your accessories are very neutral, you know, bring in a really fun like shirt that's either a, a loud color or a loud print or something that's fun that feels like vacation. Right. You can get away with that a lot more easily if you have a very neutral base. You're absolutely right. I love that. I want to remind everybody that all the boards that we've floated in throughout the first half of the video are available over on the blog. So you can pin it, take a screenshot of it, because it's really a nice encapsulated way of how to plan your capsule wardrobe. So divide it into tops and bottoms, dresses, but sometimes it's hard to get some inspiration from those lovely boards. So Kelly's going to take us through. So this is actually your capsule wardrobe for Tybee. So why don't you take us through how you put it together and what you're going to wear? Yes. All right. So it's not the exhaustive uh, group of things. There's always, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there that I change my mind about as we go along when I'm packing. But for the most part, like I mentioned before, I'm sticking with a, a blue, white, gray, and the mustard yellow as far as my, my color palette. So starting with my bottoms, um, these really, uh, the seaside pants from J. Crew, they're okay. linen, um, they're wide leg, the sizing is perfect for petites. I've been living in these all summer long. And the seaside pant, they also do shorts as well. So mm -hmm. the linen shorts are great, super casual, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. So these definitely made the list. And I've got these in white and in navy. And I think J. Crew has been producing these for about at least six years, maybe long. Something like that. I'm I not, love that. Yeah, I have shorts and things from mm -hmm. last year and the year before that I've still living in all summer long. They're okay. so comfortable. And we'll, we'll have everything linked down below. But that's one of the things that I love about brands. They don't do it as much. I think they're starting to do it. But that is having the same item available year after year after year. So if you miss this wave, you know, keep an eye out for it next year, too. Yeah, they've been bringing them back. Yeah. Um, and changing the style up just slightly, mm -hmm. but, but just enough to keep it fresh and new, uh, but still with the same comfort and the great sizing that you can rely on yeah. for those. Um, also, another J. Crew item, this linen skirt. Um, if you follow the blog at all, you've seen me wear this a few times. Mm -hmm. It's been such a fun skirt to wear all summer long. It's it's lined, so you don't have to worry about any see-through action happening there. But it's still very light, very wearable. Um, I've paired this with T-shirts, button-ups, all kinds of things. It's a really great versatile skirt. And because it's white, it's really going to go with everything in my capsule wardrobe. Love that. Yeah. And then the uh, navy seaside shorts, kind of a, a match to the pants, mm -hmm. but um, still very comfortable. These go with everything, t-shirts, tank tops, button ups, you name it, it goes with it. Perfect for the beach. And yeah, it really absolutely. Is. For, or for any warm weather destination, it really, really is. Absolutely. Um, and then another, another base that, um, and you'll see these, uh, both Beth and I with these later, these are from Ann Taylor, the city short. Mm -hmm. The city short is a shorter hemline, um, but they also have boardwalk shorts and things. You can always find something that suits your taste um, over at Ann Taylor. But if you're looking for something that is a little bit less casual and kind of a little bit more put together, but still very fun to wear, still very easy to wear in the heat, city shorts or something like a chino is going to really suit you well for a like that patient. And a lot of times we forget about shorts because you really can dress them up and you can take you can put a blazer over the top of them you can put in the past i used to put like a little kitten heel for with sure. it and so it's not just for those you know daytime events you really can pull double duty with shorts yeah so, definitely yeah definitely i mean just a nice blouse really changes up the way a nice you know fitted pair of shorts looks it really does and and, and does a really good job with that she does okay so what else do you have for us all right so tops so this top is the Ramey uh, Utility Top, and this is from Banana Republic. Really great top. It is a little bit on the sheer side, so you might want to consider wearing a cami underneath. Um, mm -hmm. But it is um, super lightweight, and because it's sold as a crop, it comes up just right at my waist, just a little bit below my waistline, which is actually really nice because yeah. uh, I don't have to worry about tucking it in or anything like that, and it just has a nice flowy feel to it. So I, I look forward to wearing this with a lot of what I have in my capsule wardrobe. Well, and that's the advantage of being a petite that, I mean, I, if I purchased that blouse, it really would be cropped on me. So because it is cropped and you're petite, so it's going to come down a little bit longer. So, and that, and the same with your mini skirt. Yes. It's, you have some flexibility where 
I really don't. So I'm kind of envious of, you know, yeah. sometimes because you really, you, you can pull that card out of your deck and, and play it. And I just think that's great. So, yeah. yeah. So don't overlook regular sizes it's as tough. a petite. Yeah. Right. Especially the season with the mini skirt trend being so popular and crop t-shirts and button up shirts and crop sweaters. There's right. a huge cropped I know. thing happening right now, it but it really is. works out well for petites. Yes. And the mini skirt too, because if, if I wear a mini skirt, it's a mini on me. But you wear it and it comes, you know, it's just perfect. It's just right close. above my knee. Yeah, yeah. I love that. So. Yeah, it's great. Okay. So what else? Casual dresses. So casual dresses. This dress is actually from Everlane, um, but I will have some, um, I have some alternates on the boards that you've seen and linked below. We'll have, we'll have that too. But a nice tank dress. Um, this is actually a bit of a midi dress. So it comes, you know, a little, quite a bit below my, my knee. Um, but something like this is really great. It's, it's casual enough to wear as a beach cover-up if you want to you can mm -hmm. kind of pull double duty like that if maybe you're going to go and grab a bite to eat straight from the beach it works out really nicely that way too because you've got full coverage um it's nice enough to go out um but it also is casual enough that you can just wear it as a beach cover-up right which i like and many people are going when they're you know headed to the beach they're actually staying at a hotel and you have specific rules when you traipse through the lobby mm -hmm. You do have to have a cover up and a dress is really, that's a great, you know, it goes to the beach in style, but it can trace through the lobby. And as you said, it can go to lunch too. Exactly. So, love yeah. that. And that's, it's actually really great too if, if um, packing space is an issue and you don't really want to bring cover ups plus dresses, all right. this stuff. Yeah. So it, it does really work out well if you can at least bring one or two t shirt or tank dresses that can double as, as cover up. Yeah. Yeah. So the one thing that we didn't talk about earlier that is part of my capsule wardrobe, though it doesn't necessarily fit with any of the things that I'm packing in my capsule, and that's the going out dress. The dress that you want to wear if you're going on vacation, like we do, we mostly cook where we're staying. We don't eat out all that much on our vacation. So one night out at a fancy restaurant or a nice restaurant is a really special treat. So I like to bring one outfit that is dedicated just for that. Mm -hmm. So. You have to have that. You, I mean, when you're going on vacation, you have to have at least one night when you're going out in the town. So, yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. And for a beach vacation, it doesn't have to be super crazy or fancy. In fact, I've tied everything in to fit with what I'm packing. So even though I'm not wearing this with anything from the capsule wardrobe, it still fits with everything well enough that I feel like I'm not like, you know, putting on some very fancy dress with some stiletto heels and going out on the town. It, it all still fits very well with my beach town environment. Great. So what did, what did you pick out? So I've got a couple of things here. The first, and I'm really excited about this dress because I've had my eye on it all season long and they've been restocking it, which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Dolman Sleeve Knit Dress from Banana Republic. Who's been killing it! Like, they really like, have. I love it. And actually, I'm going to give a little spoiler alert. Uh, it won't be on this video, but I actually have the black, you have the white, and we're going to do something fun to show you how a petite and a regular size can wear this dress. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Love it. It's a great dress. And while it is knit, um, it's a light knit. So I could see this carrying me all the way through my beach vacation to fall, mm -hmm. you know, maybe with some boots. I think yeah. this would be a really great dress. Definitely. Um, so, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to, to donning this on our night out. Um, probably in Savannah because Tybee doesn't really have too many fancy restaurants. No, but Savannah um, does. But Savannah does, and um, so yeah. So so this is a great, and it's easy to pack. It's knit. I can I can roll it. I can fold it. I can deal with it pretty well mm -hmm. with packing. Yeah, I love that. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Exactly. So the other option that we have, and this is this is a little bit less of a night on the town in Savannah kind of dress, and more of a night out in Tybee, Tybee. kind of dress. Yeah. So, and this is another fun one that Beth and I are both uh -huh. going to, to show you. Yeah, you're going to see that at the at the end for our little lookbook. I, oh my gosh. Ann Taylor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm surprised that I overlooked this when we were shopping for this because um, cause you found this and I, I didn't know what you had picked and I'm so happy with I what know. you chose. Is it nice? So this is a great dress. I mean, it's super light. It's lined. Um, it feels like a dream i think it's going to be great to wear on a hot night mm -hmm. uh, so i'm really looking forward to wearing this one too yeah. but both of these dresses let's say i wanted to bring both of them for nights out you know pairing them with like a really simple mule sandal whether it's healed or not mm -hmm. both of those dresses are going to look great so we the um, grab the, these ones yeah so go. i actually really love these so 
these are from J. Crew a few seasons ago. They're the penny sandal. There's a lot of sandals out there, and I've linked um, similars. To, to similars. Mm -hmm. um, but the block heel is so forgiving, mm -hmm. and it's just a really nice thing to have, mm -hmm. um, especially when you're on vacation and maybe you're doing a lot of walking around and you don't want to put on shoes that are going to be uncomfortable. That's a really good point. So yeah, the mule the mule sandal is is great for that, and it gives you just a little bit of height without being difficult. Mm -hmm. I love that. I mean, I always recommend the block heel because mm -hmm. it's comfort. You get the height and you don't have to worry like if you're in Europe and the cobblestone streets or right. on, on the beach and you're navigating some terrain that yeah. maybe is a little unstable. If you have a block heel, you are covered. It's true. I love it. Yeah. So those are simple. And then you had, and then you brought these flat sandals because we I did. Yeah. We always need that. The fisherman sandal, these are from Madewell and I've really been living in these all summer long. I think I've probably got you know, half a dozen daily looks and, and posts featuring these particular sandals. They're great. They're very comfortable. They have a padded footbed, so they are really easy to walk around all day in. Um, the fisherman sandal, they come in black, this brown color, and I think that there's actually a lighter brown color as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I've linked these two, but these are a really great option for, you know, they really are going to go with almost everything in this house. So, so even if these were the only shoes that I brought with me, uh -huh. I know they would work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would feel confident and comfortable wearing them. Yeah. And then we briefly touched on it with the capsule wardrobe, but you can't go to the beach or a warm weather destination because most likely you're going to have a pool or the beach. Yes. And so we need swimwear. You do. Right? <laughs> so you have this. You do. It's yes. Cute. So this is uh, from last year at J. Crew, but they are constantly, you know, this, the ruched bandeau style is a perennial favorite. They always bring it back. They always have a ton of colors and a ton of new prints every single year. Yeah. So this is always a safe bet if it's a style that works for you. Mm -hmm. And I personally feel like whether you're a petite or any size, the ruched style is really flattering for everyone. It's a modest cut, mm -hmm. um, it's very flattering, and um, you really can't go wrong. I agree. I like that, and especially like if you have like a little maxi skirt, if you're mm -hmm. on the beach and you're having lunch, you could just you know pull that maxi skirt over the top and then you're good to go for lunch. It's, yeah. it's very attractive that way. Yeah. Or if you just want the traditional cover up, you have this, which I thought is also adorable. Yeah, the tunic. So the, the tunic cover up, um, this is also again, several years old, but I've linked a similar tunic cover up. Um, and this is again from J. Crew. They really do a great job with cover ups. I feel like their beach wear is, is strong. I think they're swimwear. I mean, I, they're just a go-to for me. Yeah is J. Crew, and they, they're again, they perennially bring the items out like the ruched suit or even you know, the two pieces, so you can, they do. I, which I, I really, really like, but that's yeah. absolutely adorable. Yeah, so this is, it's just a fun and easy thing, but you know, I can tell you that if I was gonna go and have dinner straight from the beach, I wouldn't necessarily wanna be wearing this, mm -hmm. you know, so that's where the, the, the casual dresses. dresses come in, but, um, but if you do have space to pack it, um, cover-ups are, are really fun to have. And then accessories, because we, we wouldn't be who we are without our accessories because that is always putting the icing on the cake, right? It's true. It's true. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, when I go on this beach vacation, I leave my leather um, crossbody bag at home and I swap it out for this. And this is a very simple woven tote. Um, Talbot's actually has a really great version of this. I think the leather of the straps is a little bit lighter and maybe the color of the weave is a little bit lighter in Talbot's version this year. Mm -hmm. But this is a bag that I just, I constantly turn to all summer long. It holds a ton of stuff. It's flexible. It's easy to pack. Mm -hmm. And so this becomes my, my day-to-day yeah. handbag when I'm on vacation. Which is a good point because, you know, packing, I mean, some of us like to travel in a carry-on. God bless you. I don't like to do that, <laughs> but some people do. And, you know, so you're always looking for those very serviceable yet packable items. Absolutely. So, yeah. Definitely yes. And then a beach bag. Um, I, yeah, this, um, I've linked to several like this size wise. This is a really great woven bag. I love it because the weave is open. So all the sand will fall out by the time I get to my car, oh, which is great. <laughs> I don't want to really be tracking all that sand everywhere I go, but this bag is great because it's got handles here. It's got a shoulder strap and it really is big enough to hold two towels, all my magazines, my water bottle, all of those types of right. essentials. So it's, it's cute and serviceable. It is. And that really is. I mean, it can be done. It really, truly, yeah. truly can be. Well, thanks for taking us through this. So now we're going to have our little mini fashion show. So uh, 
Stay tuned.